for speaking to Future Tech Magazine. Uh, we would like to start with a brief on the solutions that you that that you offer in terms of uh, engineering solutions and uh, procurement. Okay. Okay. Well, thanks so much, uh, Chris, uh, for taking the time. I'm, I'm really pleased to uh, talk with you uh, in this conference. Um, yeah, I mean, your question is not uncommon, first of all, right? So, um, a Viva World Conference Abu Dhabi uh, this year uh, is attended by uh, like 500 customers uh, that have joined us here. Uh, and, and, you know, your question is on their mind, right, to many of those, right? What is uh, the latest? What is, the, what is going on in cloud? What is going on in IoT? What is going on in uh, virtual reality uh, and, and artificial intelligence? They, they all have that question, right? And they come here. And in fact, uh, if you think about the merger um, that uh, Aviva has been going through with Schneider Electric Software, right? It's all to uh, support uh, the engineering uh, workflow, right? So the strength of our company is that we uh, combine the asset life cycle, uh, you know, from the first conceptual idea through basic engineering, detail engineering, procurement, construction, plant startup, all the way through operations. Um, and that's really um, the nature of the company. So uh, from Schneider Electric, for example, came our simulation offering. Um, and uh, from Aviva, Heritage Aviva, we have a very strong engineering and design offering and that uh, we are bringing now together um, that particular um, um, solution space uh, that basically supports conceptual design, basic engineering and detail engineering. We now call it unified engineering, bringing together the world of simulation and the world of engineering and the world of design into one fully integrated um, environment uh, with bidirectional information flow that basically allows um, uh, multi disciplines, uh, so process engineers, uh, mechanical engineers, electrical engineers, piping engineers, all to work together in one seamless environment. That is really, uh, we think, uh, unique in the market and making a, a goalpost change uh, impact uh, on our customers. In terms of training, uh, what, what sort of importance does simulation have uh, when it comes to, say, industrial, uh, you know, uh, industrial um, uh, situations? Well, I mean, uh, first of all, training the workforce um, is absolutely essential. 79% um, uh, of the global CEOs are concerned um, about the skill um, of the employee base, according to a study by PricewaterhouseCoopers, uh, CEO review uh, 2019. Um, 42% uh, um, of unplanned shutdowns in process plants um, are caused by human error. Um, that we don't need to think so far of a refinery blow up. We can also just talk about a shutdown where uh, the flare is being used and, and, and flaring is first of all expensive um, and secondly unecological, right? So, so here avoiding that means that we both have better profits and uh, we, you know, we do better for the environment. So to skill up uh, the workforce um, is of uh, essential importance, uh, right? Because skilled uh, employees um, uh, will respond um, in uh, critical uh, uh, situations uh, much better uh, than, than unskilled uh, workforce. So we have a, uh, well, we come from a, a very strong background with simulation-based learning, um, operator training simulation um, that typically have been um, custom tailored on-premise solutions and over the last few years we have been um, extending our offer significantly leveraged by uh, all the um, um, enabling technologies that Aviva has, for example, virtual reality, augmented reality, for example, cloud, for example, AI. We've been leveraging these enabling technologies to now create what we call a unified learning environment, um, where basically we can take people from the learn phase uh, through um, practice phase, right, in the simulators, also learning with e-learning modules, videos and, um, you know, uh, electronic materials. Um, then the practice phase where people can, can, can train the skills uh, basically in a simulated environment. Um, uh, you know, the simulation basically replaces the, the real life plant. Um, and then we can assess and reinforce uh, that skill with micro learning. So the, in, in the assess phase, we integrate with learning management systems, for example. We can also bring our own. Um, and in the 
uh, reinforced, we have microlearning. This is so important because if you think about the traditional classroom training, um, then you know people are being trained a whole, a whole lot of content. At the end, there might be an assessment, um, but 30 days later, and you may have experienced that yourself, um, we already forget a whole lot, right? This is, this is happening very quickly, so to reinforce on a continuous basis the skills that we learn is really important. Um, so all of this is really um, um, delivered through the cloud so it's accessible to um, the workforce um, and, and that is also a way uh, having training available anytime, anywhere uh, is a need that uh, many employees have expressed in our, comp you know, in our customer companies. Uh, in terms of verticals, uh, one of the sessions mentioned energy, and uh, now we have waste and uh, wastewater and water. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. a lot of demand coming from those verticals. Uh, for 2020, uh, do, do you see any other verticals that could benefit from Aviva's uh, uh, solutions? Well, first of all, we cater to the um, traditional oil and gas uh, refining uh, chemical. A hydrocarbon processing value chain, um, but also we cater to the mining industry, for example, um, and uh, basically any any plant that has processing facilities, unit operations uh, would be a, a target for us. Uh, in terms of deployment of these uh, solutions, do you work with partners or uh, do you do it uh, yourself, your team? Uh, first of all, we have a own team. Okay. Um, um, but 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 also we work with partners likewise. So so uh, whatever works best for our customers and provides an, um, a cost-efficient solution, uh, we will deploy it that way. Okay. Uh, thank you for speaking to Future Tech. It was nice uh, having you with us. Thank you so much for the interview. Appreciate that. Mm -hmm.